You guys, that was the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> okay, we are in full effect. Can you guys see me? Because I can see everything now. Oh, that was so stressful. Yay. Hi, Fadila. <laughs> all right, let's just set this up once and for all. Let's get this organized. Extreme technical difficulties. I'm not gonna lie. This was not easy. Yay, you came back. Yes, I came back. <laughs> There's like way less people now, but hopefully everybody will come back. It's all good. I'm just gonna finally set this all up. We are good. Oh my God. Yay! Finally, yes, finally. That was so <laughs> stressful. Um, okay, guys, this is happening, a live tutorial. So, welcome everybody. You guys are so sweet. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. There's so many comments. So for people who are here live, welcome. This is gonna be really fun. I've obviously never done a live video before. It's gonna be interesting <laughs> and then for people who are watching this later um, so this is a live tutorial we are filming it today is Tuesday and you'll be watching it after so um, I hope you enjoy there's a lot of people sending comments hello from Germany hi Sophie hi Jade Khan hi Sun Tzu makeup <laughs> so I'm gonna be answering all of you guys's comments Feel free to send me anything you want to send um, and yeah okay and we're, this is gonna be super interactive so the first thing I want to ask you guys don't mind me my hair just keeps falling all over the place the first thing I want to ask you guys is what look you want me to do today so hold on okay I brought my computer <laughs> because we are gonna decide together you guys tell me what you want to see do you want to see like a full makeup tutorial or do you want to see like one specific thing natural glam these are the suggestions you guys are saying hi from Florida okay natural you guys want natural okay let me show you do you guys want like a full tutorial like beginning to end or do you want like um like a specific thing like how to fill in your eyebrows how to get perfect brows okay flawless foundation every day full natural glam natural glam <laughs> this is gonna be really hard full glam full glam full full, full. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put up some suggestions and is there like an option for you guys to like send emojis like hearts and stuff like that? Can you guys send hearts? No? Is that an option? If you can send hearts, send them now. Okay, here we go. So remember how I told you guys that I have like a folder with like tons of makeup pictures? I'm just gonna share some of these pictures with you guys right now and then you guys tell me what do you want to see? Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's the hearts. Okay. Do you guys want to see something like this? Cat eye with a pink lip. Do you guys? Oh, that's me. Do you get? I saw this the other day. Like a little bit of the blue. No. Second? The Kim K. No, no. You guys don't want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one's nope? I don't know. What about something like this? Like natural with a red lip? No, nobody wants that. That's me. Uh, that's me again. What about like this? A smoky? Rosie Huntington. Okay. Olivia Munn. Okay, where's the Rosie Huntington one? Oh, this one? Wait. This one? Shay, natural with red lip. This is really good. Can you do that? Kendall, yes, yes, yes. Let me know. You guys are saying yes and no, but I don't know which one you're saying yes and no to. Of course, Omrizi, I have a ton of those. Yes? This one? Rosie? If you guys want to see Rosie, type Rosie. If you don't want to see Rosie, 
Don't type Rosie. Okay. Yes, Rosie? Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna go through these one more time. Oh, maybe I can do the arrow. It might be easier. That's These are my faces, so let's pass these. This is Sandra, Rosie, I'm Rosie. Red lips or dark lips? Something a bit more natural with the wing liner and then like, um, I really like this one actually. Like a wing liner and then like a nude lip. Sandra, Chandra, Chandra. Okay, okay, you guys like that? I have some random pictures in here. Keep, there's one that really stands out. You guys gotta let me know. We already did that one. This one's really pretty. Sponge <laughs> SpongeBob is not an option. <laughs> okay, guys. Wing liner and a nude lip. Wing liner and a nude lip it is. That is what we are doing. I hope you guys love it. Okay, let's get started. So just to let you guys know, I usually keep the picture beside me, so I refer to it. I usually go back and forth. Um, because I like to get as close to the picture as possible. You guys probably noticed that my recreations are pretty close to the original. So that's usually what I do. I keep the picture right next to me and I just keep looking at it. So we're going to keep this girl's face right next to us. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. We're, come closer. I feel like this is as close as we can get without the camera looking crazy. Morocco here. Hi, Morocco. You can't see my face. Okay. Can you guys see? If you guys can see, let me know. If you guys can hear everything, let me know. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna adjust this one last time and we are starting. So, Perfect. Let's start with prep. You guys know that I love to prep my skin. And I am using <laughs> the Smashbox <laughs> uh, Photo Finish Primer because I have really oily skin. But I try to prep as much as possible so you, um, you guys want some gold shimmer, huh? There are so many comments. I don't even know what to do right now. If you can't see me, try turning your camera off and then like turning it back on. Okay, you guys are from so many different countries. Send me, let me know which country you're from. Holland, Slovenia, Portugal, Romania. Oh my God, what time is it over there? <laughs> I'm so excited, can you tell? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to stay calm. So I prep my skin. I have to try to do makeup. France, Trinidad, Poland, Norway, Peru. <laughs> I'm acting crazy. Okay, let's make this a little bit higher so you guys can actually see my face. There we go. Sort of better. This is so much fun, I agree. I promise next time, there will be way less technical difficulties. I think this is, since it's the first one today, it's like definitely trial and error. And, oh my Lord, you guys are so sweet because I definitely kind of look like a hot mess right now. <laughs> but we're just gonna go with it. Okay. If this would stay. Okay, oh my god, what time? You guys are literally from everywhere around the world and it's so exciting. I am using my absolute favorite, the Lancome La Base Pore Eraser. This stuff is so good, you guys know. If I don't use it, my skin definitely does not look as good. It's, you. I can't believe you guys are from all around the world. This is so amazing. This is so amazing. Okay, primed, skin is primed. So I think I'm going to do just like a base of foundation and then we're gonna do eyes. I like to do that sometimes just because I feel like it makes 
the makeup flow better. <laughs> you know, everyone has their own way of doing their makeup, right? That is one thing I usually do. So I am using the Makeup Forever HD Primer. There's so many comments I can't even keep track. Let me know if you guys could see anything. Let me know if you have any questions. You guys wanna see, <laughs> don't vote for Trump. <laughs> you guys want to see a what I ate in a day video someone wrote that what time is it there it is 12 noon here in Los Angeles if you guys don't know I'm in Sa I'm in I was about to say I'm in Saudi Arabia because somebody just wrote that <laughs> I am in Los Angeles hi from Italy okay which shape you guys always ask this and I try to answer so the shade that I'm in is a mix between 125 and 128 but right now I'm really fair so I'm definitely more 125 in the um, ultra HD I actually sometimes even use the old HD which I have right here and this one is number 123 this is so fun can you guys see okay? Hi from Greece. Oh, someone from California. <laughs> There's so many comments I can barely respond. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just stick with the tutorial. <laughs> I will definitely be doing more drugstore tutorials because I feel like I haven't done a really good drugstore tutorial in a while. So that is a priority for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do just a tiny hint of concealer under my eyes, just as a little base, and then we're gonna get into the eye makeup. Okay, so I started using this concealer from Laura Geller, and it's really, really good. Drugstore foundation for oily skin. I really like the um, the Pro Matte um, foundation. Is it? Revlon or L'Oreal? I can't even remember. Hold on, let me check. I'll check in a second. I'll check after. <laughs> but it's either the Revlon or the L'Oreal Pro Matte. That's a really good drugstore foundation for oily skin. This concealer is really nice because I really like the tone of it. Look how good that looks. Hi from the UK. Okay. Send me any questions that you guys have as I'm doing this. This is gonna be the best thing about these live tutorials. Are you still with your boyfriend? Yes, I am still with my boyfriend. <laughs> that was random. Yes, it's the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Thank you for whoever wrote it. Yes, 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 yes. Meet up at the Grove in LA. That would be so cool. Did I vote? I did not vote because I actually can't vote because I'm Canadian and I live in the US, but because I'm Canadian, I'm not allowed to vote here, which kind of sucks because I definitely would vote. I'm with her. <laughs> but I hope if you guys can vote that you went and voted. Okay, so we have our base going on. Whoa, that was a long emoji, whoever just said that. <laughs> we have our base, and now we're going to start with the eyes. Her eye makeup is actually really, really beautiful. Um, I always prime my eyes, you guys know that. Best powder foundation. Hmm, suggestion guys, what do you guys think? Best powder foundations. I used to use the Makeup Forever Duo Matte. I love that one, that one's really good. The MAC, what was it called? The MAC Studio Fix. This is a really good powder foundation. Bare Minerals. That's a good one too. Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals. A lot of people like the Bare Minerals. Armani. I haven't tried that one. Yes, you guys are hilarious. Ah, so many emojis. Whoa, Bare Minerals. Hands down. Everybody's saying Bare Minerals. Okay. Best, pow best powder foundation. Bare Minerals. There you go. I actually just got a bunch of products from Bare Minerals and I'm so excited to show you guys. I have their eye cream and I put it right here so I could use it and I forgot. Next time. What else? Vote for me. Jay, are you, what, what are we voting for? <laughs> Hi from Denmark. 
Okay, primer, and I'm gonna do a little bit underneath my eyes. You guys, this is the funnest thing ever. I know people are saying, can I say my name? And I, I swear, it's going so fast, I can barely see anything. Okay, let's stick to the makeup here. What nail polish are you using? So, I get shellac. Do you guys know what shellac is? So, I get shellac and most of the time, it's like they're not, I don't know, it's like a shellac brand, so I don't know what the name of the nail polish is. Does that make sense? You're not coming through. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> I can't concentrate. Um, eyeshadow, yes, let's go. Let's go for it. Do you guys want a drugstore palette or it doesn't matter? Let's do a drugstore palette. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. We have this one, or we can do... Ooh, that's pretty. I love this one. Da-da-da-da. Or, let's do... Yes. This is a great palette. If you guys don't have this palette, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's the L'Oreal La Palette Nude. This is like probably one of my all time favorite palettes. The colors are perfect. You can like do so many looks. It's great for traveling because I just take this and I don't take anything else. You could even use it to fill in your eyebrows. So definitely this palette is one of my favorites. I for sure recommend it. Somebody asked about my rings. All my rings are from Nichelle Jewelry. I'll put the link in the description box after, after when we're not live. Okay, this palette it is. So I'm gonna start off with a nude base all over. Why do I do this? I do this because this is gonna help make sure that no eyeshadow sticks to any spot on your eye. Like sometimes when you put, um, <laughs> these comments are so funny. Sometimes when you put primer and like if you don't blend the primer properly, uh, the eyeshadow can stick. So if you do like a nude base like this, just all over first, then it will, Make sure that nothing sticks to your eyes, okay? If you guys have any questions for me, just let me know. All right, nude base, check. Um, do I have lip injections? I do not have lip injections. If you guys have been following me for years, you would know these have been here since the beginning. <laughs> oily or dry skin? Definitely oily skin. Okay, um, I'm going in with a color like this or a color like this. I usually love to mix colors. Um, so I'm going in for something like this and something like this for my crease color. Favorite singer, hmm. I really love Beyonce, obviously, and Rihanna and Drake. These are the people that I really like to listen to. Who else do I like? Yeah, I would say those are my favorite right now. Okay. Crease color, step one. Favorite model? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite model. Favorite lipstick for fall? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to say the all of the NYX liquid lipsticks are amazing. The lingerie liquid lipsticks, I absolutely love all of them. And I love the new matte bare minerals liquid lipsticks. Those are awesome too. 
Um, favorite brow product? Definitely right now, my absolute favorite is the one from BH Cosmetics. It's the pomade. Favorite football player? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I don't do football. I'm not, I'm not big on sports unless it's like the final game, you know? Hi, for, hi Italy! Do you like Rimmel Cosmetics? Yes, I do. Um, I don't, I don't have a lot of it though, but I do like it. Okay, so I'm just applying this color in my crease. You know, I can't be too like perfect with this tutorial guys or it's gonna take like a million years. <laughs> so, we're gonna do this a little bit on the quicker side. And if you see me reaching down here, it's because I am making sure that I can see the inspiration picture. Okay, favorite YouTuber? Hmm, that's a tricky question. So you guys know that I shot the first episode of Boss Babes. Who's excited for Boss Babes? Is if you're excited for Boss Babes, send me a heart. Thanks, thanks for, uh, someone mentioned that this is very boring. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love YouTube. Okay, so I'm just using the same colors underneath my lower lash line, but not too much. See, it looks a little bit crazy right now, but it will get better. <laughs> and then what I like to do is I usually like to keep like my foundation brush or whatever with me at all times so I could just kind of clean up my makeup as I'm going okay so boss babes is coming up and if you guys don't know it is a series that I'm doing where I'm interviewing some of my favorite youtubers girls that are like doing really cool things and the first episode is coming up and I cannot wait for you guys to see it it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so good. <laughs> How are all these people so fast? I can't see. Can you say bonsoir? Bonsoir. <laughs> so, um, oh, the concealer that I used is from Laura Geller. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a slightly darker brown. So I'm gonna go for this brown now and use that a bit more in just like right in the socket. And a little tip I have for you guys is to actually like push your brush in. You know, like put pressure so you're actually pushing the brush into your socket. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like that. Do I spray tan? I used to spray tan, but I haven't in a long time. I'm so pale, look at me. <laughs> uh, this brush that I'm using, this one is uh, Louise Young. And so I'm just getting that dark color just in my socket. I'll show you guys again on this side. So just really focus uh whoa there's so many comments how much does this palette cost does anybody know how much this palette costs i can't remember to be honest i got it a long time ago um i want to say maybe like 20 dollars does anybody remember how much this palette costs Oof. favorite perfume hmm Oh, $15. People are saying it's like, wait, 15 euros? $20 US? $20 US. It's like about $20 US. Which is a really good price for a palette like this because you're getting so many colors. You can use this palette for so many things. Day look, night look, um, natural, smoky, just probably same thing as day look night look you know what i mean you guys know what i mean <laughs> so i'm just kind of going back and forth 
you'll find I do this a lot. Build, build, blip, build, 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 build. Okay, uh, let's take the lighter color. Um, okay, so I'm going for this light color right here and using that on my, just on my lid, which is just gonna blend everything. So if you want your makeup to look perfect, you my recommendation is to layer <laughs> because because I'm layering this light color and it's going to blend into the brown, it's going to make the brown color look better. Do you guys know what I mean? Okay. Hi, Pakistan. Favorite eye palette, eyeshadow palette at the moment? You know what? I'm going to just say it. The BH Cosmetics palette that I used in my last Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial was awesome. And I love it. And it worked so good. And it's like a total affordable product, so I f definitely recommend it. And I loved the eyeshadows. Okay, so now I'm going in with that super nude eyeshadow, the first one we used, just to kind of highlight the inner corner. Again, all these little things really make the makeup look so much better. Ah, ciao! <laughs> Beauty videos and the other ones. Um, favorite Pokemon? I do not know anything about Pokemon at all. Sorry guys. <laughs> when that whole Pokemon thing was happening, I was so confused. Um, have you ever visited the UK? Yes, I've been to the UK many times and I love it. Hopefully, I'll go again soon. Hopefully. Okay. So. That is the base. I'm just gonna leave it at that because we don't have all day. <laughs> and let's see, let's do, I'm gonna open this picture so we can see it. Okay, a little reminder if you guys just joined, this is the look that we are doing. This is what I like to do. I like to like bring it up on the screen. Okay. That's the look that we're doing in case you guys just joined us. So I'm gonna just put the computer right here because I really like to see what I'm doing or like the look so I make sure I do it properly. Okay. So her lid is actually not lighter. Her lid is kind of browny. So let's just fix that quickly. So I'm gonna go back with this palettes with a flat brush and I'm gonna go in with this dark brown favorite drugstore mascara well if you guys watched my last video you know that I was talking about how I don't have any favorite mascaras and if you guys have any recommendations and you guys sent like a bazillion recommendations <laughs> so if you want to see what everybody suggests for amazing mascaras Go to my, um, what's my last video, guys? I don't even remember. Oh yes, my fresh face natural makeup. Go to that video and then you'll see a gazillion suggestions that people made for best mascaras and I can't wait to like try out all the ones you guys suggested. What is your favorite liquid lipstick? Uh, it's a toss up between the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and the bare minerals those are for sure my two favorites right now makeup advice for blondes hmm I feel like blondes kind of have it easy because you guys can wear so many things you can wear so many different colors I love like peachy tones on blondes to be honest well it depends on your eye color it really depends on your eye color as well favorite eye cream Mm, when it comes to skincare, I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely things that I like more than others. I love anything from Caudalie, I love Dermalogica, um, what else? Those are probably my two favorite. So I'm just piling on that brown shadow on my lid, 
and we're gonna do a bit more of a highlight that's it this is the only palette I'm using how awesome is that just to keep it super simple I'm gonna do a bit of a highlight underneath Yes, a bit of a highlight underneath here. And then what I like to do is I like to go back with the brush and then just blend everything. All right, guys, you know what time it is? It's liner time. <laughs> uh, favorite vegan makeup product. You know what? I'm going to say Wet n Wild because the majority I would say 90, 99% of all their makeup is vegan. It's all cruelty free, so they're a great brand. I know that there's a couple of products that have beeswax in them that they are trying to reformulate so they could say that they are 100% vegan. So probably wet and wild. Why did I move to Los Angeles? For work. I feel like there's a much bigger... Um, there's a lot more work opportunities in the US than there were in Canada, so that's why. Okay, let's do a liner. So I'm using the BH Pro Studio Gel Liner in black. It's gonna be really hard to do this on camera. <laughs> and like, I usually get really close to the mirror, so wish me luck, guys. So I love using a cream liner. What's your channel about? Why did you choose America? Favorite liner, I from Spain. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do um, an angle brush and cream liner. That's my favorite way of doing liner because I find it to be really easy. And I usually put it on the back of my hand just to make sure I don't have too much product on my brush. That makes a big difference. Favorite makeup brand? Ooh. That's an impossible question to answer. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so the reason I pull my eye like this when I do liner is because it really helps me um, get like a super flat surface. I know it's not the best thing for your eye. If I can close my eye without holding it down, that would be amazing, but I can't. So this is just the way I have to do liner. So I just kind of pull my eye, create a really flat surface, and then I draw a line going all the way across. Bow, bow, <laughs> ciao Bella, bow. <laughs> Favorite online shop? Oh, I don't know, Amazon? I love Amazon. I love anything online to be honest what inspired me to start my youtube channel that is a great question honestly i started my channel because i was a new makeup artist and i wanted to be able to practice doing makeup every day so i i knew that if i like had a channel i could practice on on camera and that's kind of why I started and then I kept doing it because there was just people watching and that was the best thing so just continuing with this liner and I like to start thin and then build can you guys see Favorite Victoria's Secret Angel? Probably Adriana Lima, I would say. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous. All right, so. How thick you want the liner is completely up to you. It depends on your style. Um, I think I'm gonna go just a little bit thicker today because I really want it to be able to show up. Favorite highlighter right now, definitely the Laura Mercier. This one is so beautiful. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is the most gorgeous highlighter. Can I say something in Spanish? I don't know how to speak Spanish other than gracias. 
<laughs> in Canada, you don't learn Spanish, you learn French as your second language. So that's why I know a little bit of French. I used to speak French really, really well because all my classes in school were in French. But then, because I don't practice it, I definitely lost a lot of it. Just like Arabic, I used to speak Arabic very, very well, and I still do. I can understand Arabic 100%, but for me to speak it, it's like, it takes a lot of effort. Because I just don't use it that much. Okay, so this liner is getting thicker and thicker. <laughs> Wish me luck that I don't mess this up. All right, how do we feel about this? Please do a Thanksgiving wearable look with the Mario palette. It's very hard to get a hold of that Mario palette, guys. I don't know anywhere that it's available, to be honest. If I can get it, I definitely will. Okay, how do we feel about this liner? I'm gonna leave it because I don't wanna mess it up. And that happens all the time okay you guys tell me how many times you've done liner and then it was perfect and then you decided to do a little bit more and then it went crazy <laughs> and you're like why why did I mess with it that happens to me all the time and I've been doing makeup for years <laughs> um, okay someone just said that I really effed up my liner that is potentially true because it's very hard to do this and to get perfect makeup. But don't worry, I will come back to it. I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna compare. So looking straight on, so her liner is actually a lot more curved up. So let's do that. It's funny because you could totally change the shape of liner and make it whatever you want. Do I like The Walking Dead? Yes, I do. I love The Walking Dead. I'll tell you guys my favorite shows that I've watched this year. Stranger Things was awesome. Um, and I'm right now watching Westworld and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna leave the liner as it is. Let's do the other eye. And then we could always come back. So for me, like I said, using an angle brush and then a liquid cream liner is like the easiest thing for me. Way more than using a felt pen or anything. Do I have plans to come to Singapore? Not anytime soon, but I would love to, maybe one day, if there's an opportunity, for sure. Okay. Can you say something in Arabic? Yes. Hi, Habibi. <laughs> Are you proud of being Egyptian? Of course I am. I love being Egyptian. <coughs> Thoughts and, whoa, so many. Have I been to Australia before? Nope, I've never been to Australia, but I would absolutely love to. So you guys might not know this, because I would, I've never talked about this, but when I was younger, my favorite band ever was from Australia. They were called Silverchair. If you're Australian and you know Silverchair, <laughs> I used to listen to them all the time. They were my favorite. I feel like I really need to concentrate so I don't mess up this liner. Okay, the hardest thing about liner is getting them to match. That's the hardest thing. Right? Do you know any Turkish word? Um, I do. Şokuzel. That's all I know. <laughs> Actually, I know a couple of other things, but I can't, I can't remember right now. Trying to do makeup and film and speak other languages. <laughs> Not the easiest thing, guys. Not the easiest thing. Okay, so 
my hardest part when I do liner is making the wings look the same so usually I try to make I try to like copy whatever I did on one side obviously but it's very tricky because it, you could easily get them to look different can I speak French a little bit I don't speak Greeks do not I've been to Greece I've been to Santorini and to Greece Santorini is beautiful oh liner emergency <laughs> how did I come up with the name of my brushes um I've always liked the word mint because it means like good condition um, and it's like mint, it's like perfect. So that was kind of the inspiration. Can you do a review on the Huda Beauty Palette? I don't have the Huda Beauty Palette. Definitely if I get it. Thoughts on the EX1 foundation? I have I have it. Um, here's the thing guys. If I have a product and I don't talk about it, it's because I don't like it. But I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't like a product because maybe it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't mean it's not gonna work for everybody. Um, but I've tried the EX1 foundation and, mm, you know, I, I prefer using something else. Let's put it that way. Okay. Let's finish up this liner situation can you tell me if mario palette is sold in italy i don't know i'm not sure i don't know if it's sold in italy probably can you do a tutorial with the urban decay naked palette number three do i have that one i will check if i have that one guys so right now the challenge is getting these two liners these two, the wings, the wings of the liner to match. So I am trying to make sure they match. And if your eye shape is different, that can be really difficult sometimes. But what I do recommend is to put your lashes on and then figure out the liner after. <laughs> that's sometimes what I do. And it makes things a lot easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, struggle is real. Oh my God, the struggle is real. Liner, cat eye liner, it's trying to make a match. Not an easy thing but we're gonna leave it for now and we're gonna come back to it. That's another thing I definitely recommend when you're doing makeup, guys. If you're stuck on one thing forever, just move on to something else and come back to it. So for the lower lash line, she doesn't have much else going on. Instead, we're gonna do a ton of mascara and lashes. But first, let's curl our lashes. I get asked what do, you, what do you like to do first, curl or mascara? I always curl first. Yes. Will I do lashes? Of course. <laughs> you guys know I love doing lashes. So I always curl. Oops. I just got a little mark on myself. We'll come back to fix that. And then for mascara, I'm using, can you guys see the chat? Everybody can see the chat, right? Let me know. Because I don't know what you guys can see. Would I ever go blonde? Probably, actually, never say never, right? You never know. Yes, you guys can see the chat, right? So you see how crazy it is? <gasps> and that's why my liner is not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and we got like a big mark so we gotta do that and then we have to go back and fix that part of the makeup hi guys so, ooh. 
There's so many. Opinion about Kylie Cosmetics. I have never tried Kylie Cosmetics. What do you guys think? I don't have an opinion because I've never tried it. If you guys have tried it, let us know. I, I don't know, I've heard mixed reviews. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's good? Yes, we can, and it's a bit overwhelming with all these females. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Um, simple or Garnier Missile Water. I think it's called, no, Mickler? Mickler Water? Missler Water. Mickler Water. Garnier. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Definitely, I actually really love that one from Garnier. Okay, let's help help me make a decision about lashes do we want to go full strip like really dramatic or something a bit more natural so usually what i'll do is i will place it on see how it looks obviously it's not going to sit perfectly but it gives you an idea and then you can decide so there's that option or option b is something just a bit more natural and for me when i decide on lashes it really depends on the makeup look i'm doing can you guys tell left or right dramatic 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 okay done done Dramatic it is. That was easy. That's what I love about this. What is my star sign? I am a Pisces. If you're a Pisces, say hey. <laughs> yep, I am Pisces. So I'm a water sign. I think Pisces is, I'm pretty sure Pisces is water sign. I love the water. So that would make sense. Okay. Do you have Snapchat? Yes, my Snapchat is Iman Makeup, Iman with an E, just like the name of my YouTube channel. What is your favorite eyebrow product? The BH Pomade, BH Cosmetics Pomade is my favorite right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Duo. What, ooh, perfume, perfume. I don't know, what is my favorite perfume? I don't think I have a favorite perfume. I don't wear perfume every day. Do you guys wear perfume every day? I definitely don't. If anything, I'll wear like a body spray, but I wouldn't wear perfume every day. I totally thought this was a black duo, guys, but it's actually the white duo. Oh, whoops. And you guys suggested so many good lash glues, but you guys told me the Revlon lash glue is really good. I couldn't find it anywhere. And the House of Lashes lash glue, you guys said, is really good as well. So I'm gonna try that one. But the Revlon one, I couldn't find. So usually when I'm waiting for my lashes, and you have to wait for a bit, um, I like to kind of prep my skin. So if I had any fault, oh my god. <gasps> uh, favorite lash brand. Um, I don't know, Ardell? I'd probably say Ardell. Have you ever had lash extensions? No, I don't have lash extensions because um, you can't really wear makeup that much when you have lash extensions. So you guys know me, I wear makeup all the time. Do I like Kiko makeup? I love Kiko makeup. It's for sure one of my favorites. What is your favorite eyebrow product? <laughs> BH Cosmetics Pomade. <laughs> oh, somebody said that my skin is perfect. You guys know that I used to, well, I've mentioned this in videos before. I suffered with very bad acne when I was uh, in high school and people used to make fun of me about it all the time. And um, yeah, like I remember very distinct moments where I remember one of my closest, well, she was supposed to be my close friend, but she probably wouldn't be my close friend if she said this. One of my good friends told me, you know, you could be really pretty if you didn't have all that acne on your face. Her name was Janice. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Obviously it traumatized me, 
But anyways, I had very get bad acne and yeah, who knows where she is now. Um, and I got rid of it because I used Accutane and I've talked about Accutane and I know that it's a very strong product but I was young so you're not supposed to take it if you have any chance of getting pregnant I was definitely didn't have any chance of getting pregnant um, I was in high school and I was very young and I took it and it totally worked for me um, it got rid of all my acne Ew, I hate it when you have mascara on your tweezers and then the lashes stick to your tweezers. So if you do suffer with really bad, bad acne, I do recommend that you for sure speak to your dermatologist and they'll be able to recommend something that is right for you. Someone asked, what is your favorite food? Hands down, pasta. All the way. I eat pasta like every other day. <laughs> Okay, so just sticking these lashes on. I have to get close to the mirror, guys. Give me a second, one second. If the glue isn't ready, if the glue is still wet, the lashes aren't gonna stick and it makes your life so much more difficult, so don't put the lashes on or don't try to put lashes on if the glue isn't ready that is my suggestion definitely put these on too soon because they're not sticking at all so I'm just gonna take them off and do it again <laughs> that is the solution but I really don't want to use the duo. I want to try to find the other glue I have because duo is just killing me lately. It is just, oh, not good. Ah, found it. There you go. Uh, whew. Bioderma. I have the Bioderma uh, makeup remover. That stuff is amazing. What is my next video? What do you guys think my next video should be? What do you guys want to see? Let's hear it. All right, send them in. I'm going to be looking up to see what you guys say. What do you want the next video to be? My ring is from Nichelle Jewelry. I'll put it in the description box. Winter makeup. Okay. What I eat in a day. How to remove acne, natural makeup tutorial again and again. <laughs> How many natural makeup tutorials can I do, guys? Lookbook, I have a lookbook coming out. Alex and I filmed the lookbook together and it was so fun. We filmed it at nighttime though because we wanted like a date night lookbook and I just hope it all works out because the video right now is a little bit dark you know some technical things in the video so hopefully we can sort it out and then we can and then you guys will see him Bollywood makeup that would be cool <sighs> oh my god these comments Ma phew. more tips and tricks videos okay tips and tricks are always a good thing I love tips and tricks Christmas makeup, funny challenge. Okay, funny challenge. Okay, here, let's just do yes and no's. Do you guys wanna see more videos with Alex and I? Yes or no? Go for it. Yes, you wanna see more videos with Alex and I or no, you don't wanna see more videos? Yes, no, no, yes, no. Don't worry, I'm still listening. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. You know, sometimes it's really hard to tell. It's like what we should do, what we should not do. And then sometimes you just have to do what you want to do, right? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. 
All right, these lashes are on. They're not going anywhere. That second glue is so much better than the duo. Who's with me? I think it's like the Makeup Forever glue. You guys know I love that glue. So let's try on the other pair. Natural makeup, fall lookbook. Do I miss my parents? Yes, I miss my parents. And you know, it sucks because I don't really see them that often. Come to Paris, I would love to come to Paris. Favorite drugstore highlighter? Probably the Wet n Wild one. Fave lipsticks for 2016. Anything matte. I love all of the matte, matte lipsticks. That's such a good trend right now. I'm all over it. My favorite setting spray is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It is the best setting spray in my opinion. Any tattoos? No. My parents are in Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> Hurry up and put some makeup on. You know what? This is a procedure, guys. <laughs> um, lashes take time, and if you rush them, they will not work. <laughs> And this is a live tutorial, so that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> as soon as the lashes are on, most of the eye makeup will be done, and then we can move on. What I usually like to do now here also is do the um, lower lashes. This is something I always love to do most of the time because I feel like it totally completes your eye makeup look. Okay. Christmas room decor. <laughs> I don't even know what these comments mean sometimes. All right, let's put on this other pair. Can I do a one brand tutorial? Sure, if you guys wanna see that, I can definitely do that. I find those actually really fun because then they're easy for you guys to recreate them because you could just go get everything from one spot. Like that just makes life so much easier. When I watch other people's tutorials, I want to just be able to recreate it in an easy way. So that's why I really like one brand tutorials. So for sure, if there's one brand tutorial that you guys want me to do, which brand do you want? What brand would you love to see? <sighs> Lashes are done. Oh my God. That was not easy, guys. I'm telling you, the glue makes such a difference. Revlon, Wet n Wild, Makeup Forever, Essence. I don't really use Essence. Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline. Interesting. Elf, Urban Decay. Any diet tips? Eat healthy. That is my diet tip. I like to eat as healthy as possible. Okay. So once the lashes are on, then I like to go in and just perfect the liner because now I can kind of see the shape of my eye and it makes such a difference because the lashes have like a natural curve to them. So you can really kind of see the curve that you want your eyelash, your wing liner to take. And I also like to go and cover the base of my lashes. Okay. And now I'll just get the other one to look exactly the same, which is always the struggle. Have you tried the, I have never tried the Huda Beauty lashes. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried them? Do you like them? I'm definitely open to it. I just haven't got my hands on them. You know, and there's just so many amazing products out there. It's hard to try everything that is for sure. Oh, okay.
let's move on to skin guys this is gonna bring the whole look together I am not married <laughs> These questions are getting so personal and if you want to clean up your liner I like to take a little q-tip you could always clean up your liner like that oh my god what happened there you'd be surprised how often that happens to me <laughs> Heels or flats? Definitely heels. Always heels. Why am I having so much difficulty with this today? Okay. I use mint brushes all the time. But I love makeup brushes. And I think there's a lot of great makeup brushes out there. So I use a mix. My hair looks darker because my roots are growing out, so that's why it looks darker. How do you do eyeliner perfectly? Well, if you've been watching, you know that this eyeliner is not perfect at all. <laughs> and we have liner mishap all over. I got it on my hand, but that's okay. We are going to move on regardless or you can get stuck doing one thing forever so i'm using a bit more primer this is the makeup forever hd primer i really like this one because it pretty much works on every skin type and i don't know if they still have it to be honest i think they changed it to a different name and different packaging but if you go to makeup forever it'll i think it's called the number one primer so that's what you can look for. Then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Which one do I wanna use? I'm actually gonna use the old school one. Hi guys. Oh my God, you guys are so, so sweet. So many comments about things you guys have learned from my channel. Okay, let me know which has been, if you guys could pick one tutorial as your favorite tutorial which one would it be <laughs> no pressure tips to getting motivated Ooh, I'm very much a goal setter so I like making goals and for me I make a goal and I try to complete it that's for me how I get motivated just one <laughs> celebrity makeup tutorials that's your favorite that's awesome metallic bronze eye that is a classic one I love that one too Smurfs tutorial I've never did, I've never done a Smurfs tutorial wrong channel <laughs> smoky eyes you gotta be a lot more specific <laughs> I've done a lot of smoky eyes so far the Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial that's cool I've done a few though which one so I'm doing concealer smoky eye with MAC okay the concealer shade is Custard. Emerald green smoky eye. I've never done that, but I would absolutely love to do that because I saw a, a picture the other day of a girl that had like kind of an emerald green look and it looked so good and it made me want to do it. So stay tuned for that, especially for the holidays. I think that would be really nice. So usually for concealer, I like to do a mix of brush and my fingers. The brush is great so you can like, especially when you have liner, you could really go in and get that edge of the liner to make the liner look perfect. But then I like to go in with my finger just to blend it all in. Just like that. And then what I also like to do is, I really love, do you guys ever use this? The MAC Prep and Pine. 
yes Christmas red lips definitely coming drugstore nude lipstick NYX lingerie lipstick I love that okay so the MAC prep and prime is awesome as a highlighter so I like to use that just to highlight certain parts of my face like look in the camera look at that color you definitely don't need a lot look at that isn't that amazing and then go in with your beauty blender and then just blend everything out I really love using the beauty blender after everything because I feel like it just melts all the makeup into your skin and makes your skin look a lot more natural and you guys know I my type of makeup is like more of a natural look rather than like looking super overdone but to each their own of course everybody has their way of doing things okay next is powder love this life tutorial me too <laughs> all right send me more questions guys can you talk about your brazilian blowout experience oh my god yes i can so the reason i haven't talked about it too much is because i'm so torn about it i don't know if i'm gonna get it done again or not i don't know if i love it or I don't love it I really can't tell to be honest and I'll tell you why so I'm just setting everything with the Laura Mercier setting powder and I like to use this kind of like pink spongy thing just to get it where I want and I also really like using the Laura Mercier puff okay so the Brazilian blowout guys um, here's the thing it has changed completely changed the texture of my hair because my hair used to just dry naturally really wavy now my hair dries naturally straight which is the weirdest thing if you've had wavy curly hair your whole entire life and now all of a sudden you have straight hair um it's made managing my hair so much easier like I don't have to even think about it I just get out of the shower and my hair looks perfect if I let it air dry but the problem is that I find that my hair feels so much more fine now the texture is just not the same and I don't think I love the texture like it's just so fine and um, it doesn't have a lot of volume like my hair used to get so much volume and now it's like no matter what I do I just can't get volume uh, I am using the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder um, so yeah I just can't get volume no matter what I do even if I blow dry it the same way I used to always blow dry it just doesn't have the same amount of volume but at the same time I can just let my hair be and I don't have to do anything to it and it looks good it doesn't look amazing whereas before I can make my hair look amazing if I blow dry it and I apply product and do all that so it's a toss-up do I want my hair to look amazing sometimes and then look like a mess the other times or do I want my hair to just kind of look okay all the time that's my experience with the Brazilian blowout would I get it again I'm honestly not sure I think I have to wait I think it's been maybe about two months since I've gotten it so I'm gonna wait until like the three months period which is what they say usually you should get it redone after three months I'm going in with bronzer this is the max skin uh, mineralized skin finish in dark um, when I do bronzer, I love to do bronzer all over because it just makes the makeup look so much better. I love bronzer. And I always bring it down on my neck. Uh, yeah, so that's my... How long does it usually take to do your makeup? What? <laughs> what kind of dry shampoo do I use? 
I think I used the Kevin Murphy one that I really love, but I haven't found one that like is amazing. Yes, Brazilian boat blowout is banned in Canada. Like you can't even get it in Canada, but you can get it here in the States for some reason. I don't know how or why, but you can. Okay, it is time for brows because you guys have been asking nonstop which brow product I love. So I'm about to show you right now. It is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pomade, the Pro Studio Pomade. And I'm going to use my Mint Brush 36 Brow Brush. Use that to fill in. This stuff is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. And I usually always put it on the back of my hand because I never like too much product on my brush. So that's what I usually do. What is the best brow product? You guys, I said it so many times. Uh, you guys are sweet. One makeup essential you can't live without in your makeup kit. I would say the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. That is my one can't live without. That's like... For me, the best foundation ever made. I really love the Armani one as well, but there's a pretty big price difference. So, and I still like the Makeup Forever one better. What's been the craziest thing you've done for love? Hmm. No comment. <laughs> That's so funny. So when I'm doing brows, I like to kind of flick it because that gives the most natural effect. Like I don't want this to look like a big thick block. You know what I mean? Um, so I just like to flick the brush. And then push the hairs up. You guys are gonna see this stuff is amazing and I usually like to work with a spoolie at the same time so just kind of going back and forth so you can get an idea of the shape that you're creating And what I love about this pomade is that you can make your brows nice and thick and it looks really natural, which is awesome. So I'm gonna extend the end of my brow. Oops. And sometimes I'll just like make it a little bit longer and then I can go back with a q-tip and then just kind of clean it up so it actually ends up being shorter amazing pa pasta recipes pa do you guys say pasta or pasta in canada we say pasta pasta no pasta i can't even remember anymore i've lived in the u.s for two years now so i forget there's definitely some things that we say in canada that they do not say here in the u.s it's really funny Um, have you tried the makeup by Mario Anastasia palette? No, nope. I just was uh, talking earlier how like it's so hard to get a hold of that palette. It's really, who has it? If you have it, you are lucky. Okay, so I'm just taking a concealer brush with a little bit of concealer. And this is like, you know, I'm sure you guys know this trick. This just really helps you clean up your brows so you can kind of clean up that edge but if it starts to look too perfect if you like that look great but if you don't then you can kind of just go in brush the hairs to make it just look a bit softer and not so perfect but that is like my favorite because this product is just so easy to use Okay, so uh, let's move on to the left one. <laughs> Makeup collection video. Oh, it would be too long. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that that's because I've been doing makeup for almost 
for 10 years now. So I've collected a lot of makeup in 10 years, guys. And it's just too much. It's too much. That's why I'm doing so many giveaways. You guys know I've given away over $1,000 worth of makeup in the last month because I just have way too much makeup. So more giveaways, so stay tuned. You know what I have a really hard time with is that I try makeup and I don't like it. There's stuff that I don't like, but just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's not gonna work for someone else. So I never know what to do with it because like I wanna give it away, but then at the same time, I don't wanna give away used makeup. That's so awkward, right? <laughs> what is your nationality? I am Egyptian. So I'm just filling out the end here. Look at that. And then you can go in and fill, brush through to make it look natural. And then, yeah, so what I like to do is then I go back with my concealer brush. Cause like that to me is just like way too much. So. Just kind of, the concealer brush helps you clean up without it looking unnatural. I'm gonna make this end just a little bit thicker because this one's thicker. And then just go in with the concealer and clean up a little bit. Oop, I do that all the time. You guys are so cute. So many comments. Oh my God. Okay. How do we feel about these brows? Are we okay with these brows? I think we're good. Can go back. Fill in a little bit, but I think that's good. I am ready to move on. <laughs> you know what's the worst thing is when you forget to put the lid back on products and then you like a day later you look and you're like, oh my god, the lid's been off for a full day and now the product is totally dried up and I, I hate when that happens and I do it all the time. Yes, and it dries out and it dries out and it's never the same again. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> Brow game, strong. Okay, that makes me so happy. I feel like matching is the hardest thing. So this eyebrow definitely feels a little bit too dramatic. But we're gonna leave it because it's good and we're just gonna move on. <laughs> we're not gonna get stuck on it. That is the key, guys. Don't get stuck on anything. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> You'd be surprised how often I do that. Okay, so what color cheek does she have on? She has a very natural cheek. So let's do something kind of like a bronzy tone, maybe. Favorite blush, go. What's everyone's favorite blush? I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. This is a great color. This is called Rose Champagne. I love it because it's like a peachy, bronzy color. It's super, super pretty. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of a powder. Actually, let's do blush first, and then we'll come back to powder. The balm. I have I ever tried the Balm Blush? I don't think I have. Love Joy by MAC. That's a good one. That is a good one. I really like this blush too because it has just like a tiny bit of shimmer. That's probably my favorite. Like blushes have just a tiny, tiny, tiny hint. So. I also love to mix blushes, so I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of orgasm, but not all over, just like literally just like, just in the apples, just like that. That's it. And now it's time for the lip. 
So I've talked about it all throughout this tutorial, so I'm gonna just use it. But before I do that, actually, I wanna do a little bit of powder and I really love using the Makeup Forever um, Pressed HD Powder. It's a really nice setting powder. So you could just use it in the areas that you need. You definitely don't need it all over, but it makes your skin look really nice and smooth. See that? Ooh, contour. Totally forgot to contour. Happens all the time. So I'm just gonna use uh, a little bit of a bronzer to contour. I'm using Laguna Bronzer. And this is a great, I love this color for bronzer. I mean, I love this color for contour. I'm just gonna contour my nose. I never used to contour my nose, but I find now that it makes such a difference. See, look at that, huge difference. Okay. It is lips time. All right, let me ask you guys, red lip or nude lip? Let's hear it, red or nude, red or nude? Come on, let me know. <laughs> nude, red, red, nude, red, nude. Oh my God, it's so split. Red, 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 rouge. Nude, nude, red. Oh, I don't know what it's like right in the middle. But I feel like there's more red than nude. Let's do red. Red it is. Okay, let me show you guys. This, all of these are my red lip products. This is all red. Can you believe that? Look at this, I know. This isn't pinks and reds or darks and reds. This is just reds and then lip liners are over there this is just reds so when you guys say a red lipstick it's like okay which one <sighs> let's at least pick let's do matte let's at least do matte right oh i've never tried this one from kiko is this matte Sorry guys, I got a phone call. Okay, this is from Kiko. I don't know if this is matte. Let me test it out of my hand. It's not matte. I'm aiming for a matte lipstick. Oh, what do I do? How do I even go through all of these? Orange red. We've got... What is this? Milani. Do you guys ever use this brand? I don't really use this brand to be honest. I don't think I've ever tried it. Ooh, the Vivid Matte, this one, or this is really pretty. I feel like that's too bright. I'm gonna have to make an executive decision here. I want a really nice matte lipstick, matte red. This is the struggle. This is the struggle <laughs> when there's just too many to choose from. Okay, this one it is. Here we go. I hope. Oh, that's bright. So when I do lips, I like to, too bright. Okay, you guys don't love it? That's okay. We can go over and make it darker. Don't worry. So let's just do a base first. Too bright. This happens quite often actually. It takes me a long time to find a perfect red. 
too dark. Oh my god. Here's the question. How is it possible to have this many red lipsticks and still not find the ultimate perfect color? Here we go. NYX liquid. Oh, this is a cream lipstick. We wanted a matte. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's see this one. Hmm. The struggle is real. Should have figured this out before. This is what happens when you're doing a live tutorial. It's all too. You guys. <gasps> Name of the first one. The first one is called the Maybelline Vivid Matte in number 30. Oh. It's called Orange Shot. So it's more of an orange red. It's not even a true red. Okay. Let's try. Huh. I'm doing this. No, not butter gloss. My God. <laughs> this is so hard. It's crazy. Wow. All these. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nude sticks, intense matte. This is what's happening. I'm gonna take off a little bit of this because it's very bright. Okay, and then this is the color we're going for. Nude sticks, leap, <laughs> leap, <laughs> lip and cheek pencil in the color royal so i definitely like to get really close and like when i mean i mean like mirror so i can really see what i'm doing and i like to close my lip and then stretch my lips out so i could get like a nice clean line mm, this color is perfect Ooh la la. <laughs> That's nice, guys. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, if it's not perfect, that's fine because we're gonna go in and make it perfect. So I like to go in and then get the inner corners of my lip. And then we can go in and perfect and I usually use a Q-tip and concealer. <laughs> And then that's pretty much it. Oh my God, guys. That was very intense. Let me show you guys the final look so you could actually see the makeup properly. Lipstick name, Royal from uh, Nude Sticks. I don't know, I just threw it down somewhere. <laughs> um, Nude Sticks, it's the lip and cheek I don't I honestly just threw it on my table I will list I will list it for you guys below this is the final look it's it's pretty fall what do you guys think not bad it came together considering the scenario <laughs> ah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this live tutorial. You'll be able to watch the whole thing back again. Um, all right, last comments before we go. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you have any feedback, let me know. Leave it for me in the comments. Don't forget to watch my last fresh face natural makeup look. If you enjoyed the live tutorial, let me know and hopefully we'll do more, but it'll be a lot more streamlined. This was definitely a test. <laughs> Next time will be a lot better. All right, guys. Love you guys. Bye.